Lightroom has recently updated their generative remove and fill. So let's take a look at it and see how well it works. Go to the develop page and you've got your erase option here, which has been there before. But now we've got use generative AI. So let's see how well it works. Probably pretty easy with this picture because there's not a lot going on around the people, but I'm going to paint over these two people. And we've got subtract. So let's hit remove. It is a bit slow. Or maybe it's my computer, I don't know. Interestingly, it decided to add a bird. Similar to Photoshop with the generative fill features, it gives you different options of what you can replace. In this case, I don't actually want the generative remove, I just want the straight up remove. So I'm gonna hit that, and yeah, not bad. Let's try this people over here and maybe go a little bit larger of an area. Yeah, pretty good. The water looks believable. If I close out of there, let's get rid of the lines. Yeah, looks good. But then again, this was an easy picture. Let's try it on something maybe a bit harder. All right, I've switched over to this picture from a trip to Amsterdam, where you can see there's like people, there's all this background stuff, some scooters and motorcycles. All right, Adobe, let's give you more of a challenge and find out. Hmm, not as good on that one. Notice it basically kind of makes it a bit of a blur, doesn't it? Let's try it again. <laughs> Unintentionally. Yeah, that looks better. So it looks like when you're doing it, go around, give yourself a bit extra space around whatever it is you're removing. Let's try these two people here. Yeah, not bad, actually. Like if I didn't know there were people there, I definitely would not know there were people there. So uh, that's it. Pretty straightforward, easy to use new feature with the most recent update of Lightroom.